<laughs> We're heading international to the heart of Western Europe. I'm Tamika Jones. Come with me on the first of its kind French voyage. Good trouble. This does feel like a family reunion, but with like-minded strangers ready to spend seven days sailing along the Rhone River and three more days in Paris with Ama Waterways. Good evening and welcome on board, Ama Christina. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the first time ever in the history of Ama Waterways, and I can tell you any other cruise line out there. But this has ever been done. More than 120 predominantly black travelers are here for a soulful experience in France. Now that is historic. It's just the welcome event and already an overwhelming amount of emotion and excitement. To say that I belong to a company who is dedicated to diversity, who is willing to, as we say, go out on a limb and do something that's never been done before. There's going to be a soulful show, so just relax and enjoy. You Here, we're excited to be in France's second largest city, Marseille. It's filled with so much black influence. Claude McKay's historical fiction called Banjo. It was written in 1929. Tour guides talked us through Marseille's black heritage and walked us around some historical sites. Probably about 40, 50 percent of the itinerary is different. The tours have been specially curated that focus on black history, on art, on immigration, on jazz, on music. Speaking of art, another stop along the Rhone, Avignon, a gorgeous city that's less than an hour away from Foundation Blacher. We were the first 20 years ago to show African contemporary art in Europe, in France, in Europe. So what you're about to see here is chimère, chimeras. Here in the exhibition, we have 24 artists from different countries in Africa that show us their vision of a chimera. This is one of my favorites, Chimere, by an artist from Martania because of what it represents. So that's a creature that's uh, kind of uh, evolving. While exploring Black history in Provence, we also visited the Senegalese Tata of Chasselet. We could only take photos to honor its sanctity. This architecturally beautiful cemetery near Lyon memorializes West African soldiers who fought in World War II. The ship's lounge is where we party with a diverse group of entertainers nightly. The vibes were like, And then this. Even an after party. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Chef Table restaurant. Walking inside this gorgeous private dining room gave me the chills. The Chef's Table is a private, intimate dinner Ama provides all guests, but just a small group daily. Executive chef Christy and his culinary team served us seven courses, including this beetroot capaccio. My favorite dish was the skin-grilled walleye fish paired with Macon Balash Chardonnay. Perfect pairings from Amas owners who selected our wines. My joy coming from creating uh, memorable uh, uh, dining moments for our guests. An unforgettable night, for sure. Time for a little wine here at like 9.30 in the morning. Why not indulge early at Les Covaux du Chateau 
just south of France's third largest city, Lyon. As you can see, this contemporary winery has a variety of French wines. And of course, we sampled a few. At the Chateau, you can sip wine in one room and listen to a live jazz band in another. And I hope moving forward that we can continue to do things like this, not only in this sphere, but in other, in other spheres of life, breaking boundaries and changing, you know, the opinions and perspectives of people of what river cruising should be like, because it's for everybody. <laughs> Another memorable, vibrant, soulful experience. Welcome to the city of Avignon. You and I are in for a treat. We are standing at a very historical site. This is the Palace of the Popes. Let me tell you why it's so important. Come to find out, it's actually the largest and most important Gothic building in Europe. The last Pope of Avignon is going to be thrown away. Has to go away. Seven popes once lived in the palace in the 14th century, which is now one of the most visited landmarks in France. The euphonic words from Jean Kelly. While on the steam train, we took it all in, moving through the gorge along the Doe River. A cool moment watching the crew turn the locomotive around to head back. Back on board for a closer view of the Ardèche that's even more mesmerizing. From the ship's deck to the famous Beaujolais wine region near Lyon. This gorgeous vineyard stole my heart. It spans about 55 kilometers, 34 miles of grapevines to produce some of the best French wines in France. experiences we're hoping touch people's hearts. That's, that's what I would like for it to do. Next stop, Paris. A quick two-hour train ride from Lyon for more exposure to Black history that also lies in Paris. I'm going to take you now to the square uh, that bears the name of Josephine Baker. During this highly anticipated tour, we explored some of the old stumping grounds of the iconic Josephine Baker, like Mopanas. So you could meet uh, Josephine Baker here around uh, that part of town, either with a cheetah, either with a snake, and she was, of course, a very uh, attraction of, uh, of Montparnasse at the time. This is where she performed in 1975, and this uh, this was our last show. Such a surreal moment for me to literally stand at Bobino, the last place where she entertained an audience. This metal portrait pays tribute to Josephine Baker near the hospital where she died. Welcome to uh, the little African village. That is a physical space and representation of the work that we have been doing. Inside this cultural space, there's an immediate connection to the African diaspora through the Novelties Fashion and Art Gallery. In this little Africa neighborhood, we're immersed and surrounded by Black culture in the heart of Paris' 18th arrondissement. Just minutes away, this moving statue, the first of a Black woman in Paris. Solitude is her name, and this bronze sculpture represents her fight against slavery in Guadalupe. Other monuments nearby include the Dumas family, like Alexandra Dumas, who wrote The Three Musketeers. Now this captivating statue of shackles is furs, which means irons. It pays homage to Alexandra's father, Thomas Alexander Dumas, who was born into slavery, but later became a general in the French army. As the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. However, I hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Say yes. From the captain, the feelings are mutual. Yeah. Every, every year, if you want. This is bigger than me, than Amma, 
than just the people who are here. What we're doing is for the generations to come.